In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the best defenses for defending the gun type meta in Madden 23. It's gonna come out of the 46 defensive playbook where we take a look at a defense that I love out of the 3-3 Cub formation. Now, if you wanna learn more about this 3-3 Cub defense, I'd recommend that you join my Patreon. That's where you'll get my entire 3-3 Cub defensive ebook. You'll also get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including all of the updates to those. So make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is gonna be in the description. Now, like I said, we're going to be in the 46 playbook talking about the 3-3 Cub defense. And what you're going to want to do in your coaching adjustments for this scheme is you're going to want to turn your auto alignment to base. You're going to want to turn your option defense on conservative. And then really important, we're going to put our flats on 30. We're going to put our curl flats on zero. And that is going to be the main settings here. And then we're going to make sure that that zone coverage is on match. If you are on current gen running this defensive scheme, you don't have to worry about that whatsoever. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that the cover for show two is in your audibles in the 3-3 formation or i'm sorry the 3-3 cub formation and it's really important that you come out in the nickel 3-3 normal or 3-3 formation and the main reason why we want to do that is because that is going to make that's going to make sure that we have the best personnel on the field uh that is possible we want to have that good personnel on the field uh to be able to have great adjustments as well as be able to have better agility when we want to send some pressure now the way we're going to set this defense up is we're going to be oddling into the cover four show too and what you're going to notice when your base aligned is these corners on the outside are back now what you can also do with this defense is if you were to press you're going to see here you see how my outside corners come or my safeties come up and my outside corners come up the problem with this specific formation that i've noticed is you can't back people off uh, which is kind of problematic now what you can do is if you're not going to base align and you're going to press that's fine then you can go ahead and press and individually back off these outside corners that's something that's kind of up to you as you want to do it i personally prefer to base align this defense but it is advantageous to have these two safeties up in the box because it's going to help you defend the run better and they're going to be more aggressive in the intermediate passing game now what we want to also do when we run this defense is we're going to go ahead and blitz our user we're going to crash our offensive line out this is going to ensure that we're going to get really good defensive sheds also what we're going to do here is we are going to take the corner that is on the short side of the field which in this example is going to be this left side corner we're going to put him into a cloud flat remember those cloud flats are 30 yards deep then what we're going to do here is we are going to put the right of screen or the wide side safety into an inside third and then we're going to take the outside corner on the wide side of the field and we're going to put him into an inside or an outside third so you see here this is what the defense uh effectively looks like right and then what we're going to do with this blitzing linebacker he's kind of our rover player you can kind of do whatever you want with this player for right now what i like to do with him is simply drop him into a vertical hook now as adjustments start to become more you know kind of fluid you can do all kinds of things with this guy you can cross man him on the backside tight end if that guy is giving you trouble you could cross man him on the outside receiver on the right if he's giving you trouble right you can do all kinds of things but what i like to do generally speaking is i love to to vert hook that linebacker now from there that's pretty much the setup so this is a zone coverage style i like to run this against compression sets and what you're going to notice is this corner route on the left that's designed to beat cover four because we're in cover four show two the match variation of this you're going to notice that that deep outside quarter is going to match onto that corner route and that is why we want to have our match on and that is why we want to be in cover four show two now the other thing that you're going to notice with this defense here um, is you can run this a couple of different ways for example you can run it like this this is fine the one thing you got to be careful of when you're defending gun tight specifically is this play pa slot cross if they start to hammer you with this play pa slot cross it's going to be because that seam streak is one of the best seam streaks in the game so the way that you can counter that there's a couple of key things obviously if you know you're playing that specific formation and that specific meta then you want to go ahead and cross man that tight end i think that's a great little counter here very simply put we're just going to cross man the tight end wherever he goes we're going to have him in man-to-man -man coverage so if they run this little pa slot cross 
we're going to basically cut him off with the man coverage from that linebacker. Now, then it becomes a matter of his man coverage or his speed or, you know, whatever you want to talk about there. So as you can see here, this is a really balanced coverage defense. Now, the other thing that I want to really quickly point out to you and why I feel pretty safe uh, with go ahead with with going ahead and and leaving um, and leaving this third over here, right, or creating this third over here like this. The one reason I like to do this is because generally speaking to the wide side of the field, cover three is a really good coverage. So if you get a concept like bench and they're trying to flood you to the right side of the screen, this is going to play really, really, really well. That corner route's not really gonna be there if I have a deep out zone knockout or if I just simply click on, that's probably an interception. So that's the main reason why I feel fairly safe with running something like this. And heck, you can even just simply inside third this safety and leave this outside quarter on the right side. Now you can decide whether or not you want to press that outside or that third or not. Um, there's some advantages to both. You'll see here that that corner route that was beating me is going to be played a little bit better if I am in press. Um, as you can see right there, he's able to, again, give up an easy completion, even though we could have clicked on and picked it. But you see the concept with this. Now, I don't want to leave you with an all-out coverage base scheme. You can blitz out of this look. Um, so what we're going to do here when we audible down is we're going to go ahead and pinch our linebackers. We're going to blitz our linebackers, um, as you can see here. And then we're going to kind of create essentially the coverage that we want to have. So what I like to do in this situation is we're actually going to press this. And the main reason why you could still have these guys at outside, you know, halves or whatever. But basically the idea here is we're going to have that Mabel, that double Mabel concept to the left side of the screen. And then over here on the right side of the screen, we're going to have that cover three concept. So the main thing that we've got to do defensively is we've got to be mindful. And if they put that running back or really any route to the flat over here, we've got to go get the flat. And then as you can see, you're going to have really, really good pressure uh, from this defense. So as you can see all in all, I think this is one of the best concepts and formulas to defend the gun type formation. If you want to learn more about this defense, make sure that you join my Patreon for just 10 bucks. You're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, complete with different coverage adjustments, pressure setups, run defenses, formation specific adjustments, as well as incredible red zone defense. Make sure you get into the Patreon. The link is going to be on your screen. You can click that or you can head down to the description and click the link down below.